The horrors I encountered in that haunted graveyard remained etched in my mind, haunting my dreams night after night. I could not escape the chilling melodies and anguished whispers that reverberated through the recesses of my consciousness. Sleep became a mere illusion, as each time I closed my eyes, I was transported back to that forsaken cemetery, reliving the terror I had experienced. Haunted by the restless spirits, I sought answers to the mysteries that surrounded the graveyard. In my quest for knowledge, I delved into ancient texts and local folklore, hoping to understand the history of the cursed land. It was then that I discovered the tragic tale of the Whitaker family, the original owners of the estate upon which the graveyard now stood. Generations ago, the Whitakers had ruled over the vast estate with an iron fist, exploiting the local villagers and treating them as mere pawns in their game of power. As their tyranny grew, so did the villagers' resentment, and whispers of rebellion circulated like a venomous serpent. One fateful night, the villagers rose against their oppressors, storming the Whitaker mansion and seeking vengeance for years of suffering. The once mighty family was slaughtered, and the villagers, blinded by fury, buried them within the very grounds they had once claimed as their own. Little did the villagers know that their act of retribution had only sealed their fate and condemned them to an eternity of suffering. The graveyard became a receptacle of anguish, the spirits of the Whitaker family and the tormented villagers forever bound to the land they had both loved and hated. Armed with this newfound knowledge, I felt compelled to bring closure to the restless souls trapped within the graveyard. Seeking guidance from spiritual experts, I embarked on a perilous journey to lift the curse and release the spirits from their perpetual torment. Together, we conducted ancient rituals and ceremonies, attempting to appease the vengeful spirits and grant them the peace they desperately sought. The atmosphere grew tense as we communicated with the otherworldly entities, feeling the weight of centuries-old sorrow bearing down upon us. In the midst of these rituals, I caught glimpses of the spirits' lives before their tragic ends. I witnessed the grandeur of the Whitaker Mansion, now reduced to ruins, and the idyllic village that once thrived under their oppressive rule. The bitterness of resentment and the sorrow of loss permeated the air, leaving an indelible mark on my soul. As the moon reached its zenith, a soft glow enveloped the graveyard, and the spirits began to respond to our pleas. Whispers of forgiveness echoed through the air, and the atmosphere shifted from one of malevolence to one of acceptance and understanding. The graveyard seemed to sigh with relief, and the fog that had enshrouded the tombstones began to dissipate. The spirits slowly faded away, finding solace in the release they had long yearned for. Their ethereal forms merged with the very essence of the land, becoming one with the earth they had once trod. As the last spirit dissipated, a profound silence settled over the graveyard. The burden of centuries of pain had been lifted, leaving behind a sense of closure and peace. I knew that the spirits had finally found rest, and the land was no longer plagued by the vengeful energies of the past. With a heavy heart, I bid farewell to the graveyard that had consumed my thoughts and emotions for so long. As I walked away, I couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the experience. It had been a harrowing journey of self-discovery, forcing me to confront my own fears and insecurities. The haunted graveyard had changed me forever. It taught me that the darkness within us is just as real as the darkness in the world around us. By facing the demons of my past and acknowledging my imperfections, I had come to a place of acceptance and growth. Though the graveyard had been a place of terror, it had also been a place of redemption. Its ghosts had shown me the importance of compassion and empathy, teaching me to appreciate the fleeting nature of life and the fragility of the human soul. In the end, I realized that the graveyard was not just a repository of phantoms and specters. It was a mirror reflecting the complexities of the human experience. And as I walked away from that haunted place, I carried with me a newfound appreciation for life and an unwavering belief in the power of redemption 
and forgiveness. The shadows of the forgotten would forever be etched in my memory, serving as a reminder that the line between the living and the dead is but a thin veil, and that in the darkness there is always a glimmer of light. <laughs>